welcome to the next chapter of Benedictum, our latest album called Obey, produced by the incomparable John Herrera. It was our first time working with him out of Clamsville Studios in Chandler, Arizona. And what an experience that was. We all learned a lot, as we always do. Hey, how's it going? It's John Herrera here at Clamsville Studios. Wanted to speak about the Benedictum record that I just finished producing. Gotta tell you, the guys are awesome, great musicians, great songs. Uh, I think all the fans are going to really love this record. All right. I cannot fail to mention the fact that we had the joy of working with our longtime friend and someone we consider to be family, and that would be Jeff Pilson. To be able to reconnect with him, be in that energy and his creative madness is absolutely wonderful. He uh, added to the arrangements and some ideas on about four of the songs on this album, and it was awesome to be in that energy working with him again. Another longtime dream that was finally realized was the fact that Craig Goldie and I actually had a chance to work together on a song. He didn't play on the album this time, but he actually wrote a song for the album, and we had a chance to do some collaboration, and that would be the song, Die to Love You. A couple of other cool things going on with this album, too, is that I got a chance to do two duets, actually, which I don't get to do that very often. And one of them was with a wonderful vocalist named Nina Osegueda, and she's from the band called The Sound of Thunder, and that's on the song Thorns. And also the incomparable Tony Martin. Wow, what an honor that was to uh, be able to share a song with him, and that was just awesome. And I'll be on the song Cry. So, what can I say? I just really hope you enjoyed it as much as you enjoyed making it. Hey everybody, we, together in no other way, are Benedictum. Count it off. Richard Strunquist, drums. Veronica Freeman, vocals. Erica Vina, bass. Pete Wells, guitar. Hi, this is Eric, the bass player for Benedictum. I just want to talk about the making of the album Obey. Um, they hired me in the end, or beginning of November, and in six days I was in the studio recording with them. Um, it was getting thrown into the fire, and I felt that I did a pretty good job. I know they, they did a great job. Hello! My name is Richard Sternquist. I'm the drummer for Benedicta. I want to tell you a little bit about the uh, recording of uh, Obey. Uh, well, with, with my experiences in the past, this was unlike anything I've ever done before. Oh, hey, what's up? Hi, my name is Pete. I'm the guitar player for Benedictum. To be honest, actually, I'm probably I'm the guitar player, singer, bass player, and drummer for Benedict. Between you and me, it's all about the bass. And if I wouldn't come in and save their ass, then you know this album would have never happened. So. And really, honestly, in, in a lot of ways, I, I put a hundred percent of the credit on my shoulders on this because um, if I hadn't rolled into town and uh, kind of taken over the reins. Uh, this thing wouldn't have gotten done, we wouldn't have had a producer, we wouldn't have had... You know, look, bottom line is, it's all me. But for every CD that we've ever done, I recorded all the vocals, Veronica would just mirror whatever I did, and then just sing it again with Pro Tools or some crazy stuff like that. I don't even know what they use, Tool Pro or I don't know. It's odd. I mean, what they don't know, and I really... You know, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't say anything because that would really, it would really cause problems. But they're not even on the actual album. I had to hire some replacements to come in and do the stuff right. So you'll see some hidden credits on the inside of the, of the inlay and you'll see who was really bringing it because these guys are a bunch of hacks. And without me, there wouldn't be a Benedictine but <laughs> We already know that, don't we? Uh, I don't know of anybody coming in and having to play for me. And I, I played the drums for Rickard. He doesn't know it, so keep that quiet and stuff. It's all about the bass. And I'm just saying, it is what it is. I don't want to break anyone's heart, and you know how precious their little egos are and stuff. But uh, yeah, I, I, I had to go and do what I had to do to get it done. Uh, I just love oh, you guys. Yeah. You're just the just, best. Uh, we're solidarity, man. Now. We just want to stay together. Activate. <laughs> there you go. Are the video people gone? Listen, I gotta tell you the truth about this record. It was a freaking nightmare. These guys couldn't play their way out of a wet paper sack. 
I pretty much had to recut everything myself. <laughs> Sometimes.